I said for a delivery. Yes, got my package from Sephora. Welcome back to another quarantine vlog with Rochelaine. You know, today is a work from home day, as per usual, as it is every day. Um, I have a meeting in an hour, so I'm gonna prepare for that meeting now. I'm just taking you guys throughout the day with me. So, welcome, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me at Rochelaine, and ready. So, I have this conference call at 1 o'clock, and right now it is 12.17. I um, actually have a 180 page documentary to prepare for this meeting which I have not read so right now I'm gonna just speed read so I can get up to speed so I can be prepared for the meeting so super I'm actually still on the clock because really my work hours are from 8.30 to 5.00 p.m. So I still have an hour and a half of work to do. So I'm going to hurry up and finish with that. I haven't taken lunch you know, actually because I was working. I was on a meeting in the morning before I started this video. I was on a meeting in the morning, all morning, and then run right into this meeting. So I really didn't take any lunch. I haven't eaten all day so I need to get something to eat. So I'm going to hurry up and finish with this document, send it off, and then can continue the vlog so I soon come back <clears throat> all right guys so I'm officially done working for the day I'm done I'm tired I'm meeting out I'm worked out I'm, I'm done with nine to five it's five o'clock and as far as the clock hit five I'm done 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 but I forgot to show you guys this morning, like I should, like a true YouTuber, was that I got mail this morning. I received packages and I went ahead and I went through them already and I forgot to show it on the camera. But I'm gonna show it now anyways and show you guys what I got. Right? I have three I got three boxes. The delivery guy came and dropped it off this morning. I was so happy because I was waiting on them. And so this is what I got so of the packages I got a Sephora delivery yes got my package from Sephora I'm so happy that we're still able to receive packages now in Jamaica um, our borders are currently I said that load noise Our borders are currently closed and so no flights coming in except for flights that take in cargo and of course some cases that the Prime Minister made exception so I got from Sephora I ordered new I needed new makeup my makeup done I haven't been wearing makeup so I never really needed to buy it but I want to step out I need to step out strong so I got new makeup. I got the Fenty foundation. I've been using this ever since Rihanna dropped this foundation and let me tell you it's been the plug like it's my absolute favorite foundation. I live by it now. I mean I don't even bother straight on the other brand really. I have three three foundations that I really like. I like the Fenty. I like Becca and i like anastasia beverly hills stick foundation so those three are my three favorite but of the three this one is my ultimate favorite this is do this is my go-to this is my everyday wear this is my going out wear this is my just want to put on some makeup wear it don't make me sweaty it don't make me oily it's just nice so you guys already know 
out. You guys already know what this looks like, but I'm gonna show you anyways. It's in the shade 440. It's for us chocolate girls. This is such a struggle to open right now. So what I'm gonna do is just leave it because I need to tear it and I'm not ready to open it yet because I'm not wearing it right now, but I have this is what it looks like. <laughs> this is the bottle that I've been using. It's almost finished, basically finished. So this is what's inside that box. Also, I also bought the primer, which I also have been using. And yes, the two of them, I love together the primer and the foundation. Love, love, love. This is the, the top of the primer that I have. I don't know where the... Oh. No, this is really embarrassing. Because this is... <laughs> this is it. I bought also a setting spray, which is the Urban Decay setting spray. And these three together, this is my go-to foundation products. So the Fenty Primer with the Fenty Foundation. And then I usually put this L'Oreal Infallible Matte powder in the shade Coco for us chocolate girls um, and plus the setting spray all together usually gives me that nice even nice skin tone I don't even know how else to describe it but it's what give me that nice little flawless little radiant foundation look so you guys can try it if you're my shade as I said the foundation is shade 440 primer is just a primer the setting spray is just a setting spray and the l'oreal infallible powder is in the shade cocoa so that's what i got from sephora and i'm very happy about my purchase all right so the next item i received today is this newer reflector which is this i already pulled it out of the thing so it's this which I bring the camera back so it's this big circular reflector that it has black on one side silver on the other side it also has white and gold and they're on the inside so for those of you that don't know this is a reflector it's used to reflect the light onto us so that we look nice and flawless it came in this package newer um for some reason i can't get it to go back down but it's supposed to go back down so that it can fit in it but you know so i'm using it to to bounce the light around and give me that nice even light all over my skin so that's that that was from amazon um and the makeup is from sephora and then the third package i received is from I did this. I did this. I did this. So I know I probably shouldn't be buying anything during this time, but you know, things are on sale. Well, not the Sephora stuff, not Amazon stuff, but Adidas were on sale, so I just felt like I had to get it. So these are. These are the EQT Gazelle from Adidas and when I saw it, you know what got me really was the color. I love the matte green color. I don't know if you guys can see it properly but it has this nice matte looking green that I like. Oh, I have to get it and it wasn't that expensive so, so that's that. outside open up back and I can go outside again I'm gonna dress it up nicely and show you guys what it looks like but it's all green so yeah that's basically what I received today and I've purchased all of them for those of you that are wondering but if you want to send me anything you know I can provide a PO box and you send it so y'all let me know But I love it man and I wear size 6 so these are size 6's. 
think so? Alright, so next thing next is that I am hungry and I need to get something to eat. So I got these ackees from my grandmother's tree, which she boiled them for me and they were in the freezer. So they're a little soft now because I put it to towel. I know you probably can't see it, but this is it. And for those of you that don't know, it's our national, well, aki paired with saltfish or codfish is, is Jamaica's national dish. And that's what I'm going to be preparing right now to eat along with some fried breadfruit. So this is the aki. And I have saltfish here that I boiled. And I actually have seasoning in it because I was going to make cook up saltfish. But then I got the aki, so I was like, don't bother waste the aki. No matter do the selfish alone, just do it with the ackee. So I'm gonna do that now real quickly. And the good thing is that both of them already boil, so all I really have to do is fry. And I'm using the organic coconut oil that I got from the coconut industry board here in Jamaica. And yeah, so, so, come along. There is nobody to actually move the camera because it's just me and the camera. So when I do the come along, I hope you guys feel like you're coming along. So let me move it now. Come along. There we go. Let's see how quickly you can do this. I'll just turn on the stove. Stove kind of dirty though. Let me chat with some this. Usually, if you do the aki dough, you should like cook up the seasoning first and then you put in the saltfish and then you put in the aki. But since my seasoning and the saltfish is already in one, I'm just gonna just pour the whole thing in the pot. It's whatever. I may alone not eat it. So, how are you guys doing? Um, I hope you've been liking my quarantine vlogs and I hope you keep coming back every day and rock with me. I'm just doing a little talking while this heat up. But um, how are you guys surviving? I hope everyone is keeping safe and keeping inside and just exercising, social distancing and not going outside too much. And just, you know, just keep safe. There's a lot of things online. I see people start the online bingo. I start the Wheel of Fortune and Monopoly online. I'm like, oh my god, we're such a creative bunch of people. It is amazing. So there are things online to do now. I know it gets boring sometimes, but hey. The best thing you can do right now to save the world is to stay inside. So let's stay inside and cook. Alright, so I'm gonna pot heat up. We can't stop chatting, alright? I'm gonna pour the oil. Hey, let me tell you about something else. I used to buy coconut oil in the supermarket, right? And all along I was thinking, you know, it's coconut oil, the genuine coconut oil. It is more expensive because if the regular oil is 100, best believe the coconut oil on the shelf is 500. So I usually buy it and think that, you know what, get a, buy an organic and I think it's real coconut oil or whatever. And I usually cook with it. But it wasn't until I discovered the coconut industry board and I started buying the oil from there that I realized that the oil that they have in the supermarket is not real oil or not real coconut oil because you don't taste the essence of the coconut or there's nothing to, to, to make you know that it's coconut and it's not until this so i'm just like oh my god the food tastes 10 times better it tastes coconut i don't know how much i love coconut so if you're in jamaica get it it's more expensive but it's better and it's real coconut oil unlike this see i have these too you know but I use coconut because i know every time i can afford the coconut because they're not cheap and then they're cheap
the seasonings to your house. And this is a way for cook pasta, like I pre-cook everything from the day before so I had boil the salt fish and put it in the plate with the seasoning and then the ackee already boiled so now it's just a matter of put dumping it in the pot and dump the ackee. Alright guys, you know the long cooking? You know the long cooking something like this? Now the time to eat. So I'm pouring the ackee now. So now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of black pepper, a little bit, right? A pinch. Now I'm just gonna cover the pot and leave it to cook down a little bit and then we revisit it shortly. Let me go get the breadfruit. And so I didn't put any salt in it. I didn't put any salt in the ackee because the salt fish is very salty so I didn't need any and I didn't add any additional seasoning because the natural seasoning that I added they were already in the salt fish and it's so marinated in there that it tastes really good I don't need to add nothing else plus I cut down on the bag of powder seasoning with the MSGs and all of those things so it's as natural as possible and now the bird fruit is almost finished So my ackee is here, ackee and breadfruit. I don't eat a lot, so well sometimes. My time to dig in and enjoy. And trust me, if it did taste bad, more than tell when I say it tastes bad. But now I have no shape. By the way guys, I did a no rush challenge on my Instagram which is at Rushlin. so head over there and check it out I did it with a few ladies from different countries across the world Angola, Brazil, Cuba etc a whole heap of countries and I'm the Jamaican representative so go and check it out it's a really cool video you know I love bread fruit that is turned that has a little sweet taste Look a sweet taste in the bread fruit. You guys know what happened, right? The bread fruit with a sweet taste because it's almost ripe. That's it. Alright guys, so finish working, finish eating. Now I'm just gonna relax a little bit, watch some YouTube. Um, catch up on the news a little bit then I'm gonna take a shower and then edit for the rest of the night so this is where I'm gonna close out today's vlog because there won't be anything much to show you later on I don't think cuz I'm gonna be editing I'm gonna have in my headphones for the rest of the night I'm gonna turn off the TV turn off everything and just edit because I have some projects working on that I need to get completed so <clears throat> um, I guess tomorrow again come back vlog about something I don't know what tomorrow may bring or what interesting may be happening tomorrow but let's see thanks for rocking with me as always remember to like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog <laughs>